Hi everyone, welcome back. We are grocery shopping today. We have been out of town for about 10 or so days. Um, you saw the video where we went down to Gulf Shores Foley Orange Beach area to visit Jason's family. We came back home, we spent one night, turned around, washed our clothes, repacked the suitcases, and went to my parents' house for my dad to have a heart procedure the very next day. And um, he's supposed to go home the next day after just stay one night, but he had a few little complications and ended up staying until Monday. So we came home Tuesday and there's no food in the house. So go figure. But today is scheduled grocery shopping day anyways. So I grabbed a couple of things yesterday at Kroger, just like a gallon of milk and stuff to get us by. And so now we're about to run into Walmart to grab a couple of things. Then I'm going to Sam's to get a few things bring it back home to unload that, and then go to Kroger. So are you ready? You have your list? Let's go. First things first, I need tea bags. Where is the family size pack? I don't see them. So I guess I'm just gonna grab two of these. Walking along and I see this. I don't know if that's, surely that's what it is. These say January. My kids will eat these before January. So for a dollar, I'll grab, there's 10 in a thing. So for a dollar, if they really are a dollar, then I'll grab them in a box. And then there's this whole clearance section, but I'm not real sure how much things are. Not sure. Look, here's relish. But I don't know how much it is because they don't say. And none of these. Like this is ranch, Italian, chocolate drink mix, guacamole. And Walmart has done away with their little price scanners. Go go squeeze yogurts. Lean shake. That's these. This says five, but these say that. I don't know what that means. So I'm not real sure how much stuff costs here. Huh. I need sweetener. And oil. Sands now. Jason needs some more milk. Result. Well, he's not like out of it, but this is what we get. It's normally this, and they have it on sale for that. And at Walmart, it's 15, so we get it here. I am almost out of garlic at home. The one that I get at Kroger is five something, I think almost six dollars, and it's smaller than this. So I just recently tried this, um, and I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start using this one. I need some oregano. I also got a bag of flour that I need, and I need some of these diced tomatoes as well. All right, I'm down to five cans of green beans, so I need to get another can of green beans. All right, I think Colt has been wanting some apples, and the Fujis are $1.36 a pound, and these Ambrosias are $1.50 a pound. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna grab a bag of these Fuji apples. Not that one. That's probably good. Also gonna get a bag of these gold potatoes. 
think. I hate peeling little bitty potatoes. But they make the best mashed potatoes or roasting them in the oven with onions. I prefer these. So maybe I just don't peel them. How about that? Grab another pepperoni. This salsa is so good. If y'all have never tried it at Sam's, it's not super spicy. And it's really a good price for this huge jar. And we've almost eaten it all. So I'm gonna grab another one. 48 hours from the farm to the jar. This time for a change, the half and half is the cheapest here versus Kroger or Walmart. So, July 22nd. I guess they're all that. 2% milk here is $3.98 at Kroger. It is back up to $4.19, but there is none. So I guess we're going to do 1%, which is even cheaper. Kids are just going to have to get over it. Kroger is empty. Because everybody is behind our house getting ready to watch fireworks for tonight. All right, first thing is we're gonna grab a couple of these. That is a good price because they are normally $3.99 and they are $2.49 up to five times. So I'm gonna grab two of them. I don't need a lot. I think I have two, maybe three in my food stock room. So I'm only gonna grab two this time. All right, this box of Fruit Loops just regular old Fruit Loops, 10.1 ounce box, 10.1 ounce box is normally $4. It's on the promotion for $2. And I have an Ibotta for, um, I think it was 50 cents back. So I'm, and you can use the Ibotta up to five times. And this is when you buy five or more of these different like participating items, you get a dollar off. That's what makes it a dollar 99 instead of 2.99. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. It's still a little more than I'd like to pay for a, bowl, a box of cereal. But I think there's some of these other ones that are in Ibotta too. I'm going to check. Yeah, the only other things on Ibotta are the Corn Pops, which is not part of the promotion. The Apple Jacks with Marshmallows, which is not even here. The Fruit Loops with Marshmallows, which is not part of their promotion. Uh, Rice Krispies, which is not part of it. Um, Raisin Bran, which is not part of it. And like Special K Red Berries that we're not gonna eat. So I'm just gonna grab the two of those and I'll end up paying $1.49 a box, which I guess is still better than $4 a box, but still more than I like to pay for a, bowl of, for a box of cereal. Okay, next. Okay, Jason's wanting to cook out 4th of July. And I like the Good to Dough brand because they're 99 cents. Whereas the Kroger brand, which is the same thing, are $1.69. But I don't see any hamburger buns, but I did see an Ibotta offer for any brand of hamburger buns cash back. So I guess maybe that will help make up the difference. So I grabbed a hot dog bun. And now I'm going to get a hamburger bun and we need sandwich bread and that's all that's there and it's not $4.29 it's 99 cents but it looks like maybe they're going to do away with this bread which I'm not happy about because I actually like it better than the Walmart brand but bread is expensive. Have y'all seen these? These are so cool. It's like a ball um, jar, I guess. It's that brand ball, but it's an aluminum cup. So like you can refill it, reuse it, um, and it keeps your stuff cold. And there's 
24 cups. I don't think they have lids, but I've seen them. Look at this, they're on a promotion. So because they're on the promotion for this much off, I'm gonna get them and I'm gonna try them. I'll let you know how we like them. All right, again, because we're de we're getting a good deal on this, it's $2.29 off. Um, guess what we're getting? Because dogs. I think I'm gonna get two while I'm, while I'm at it. Because kids. Have y'all seen these candles? I'm just saying, these are my favorite candles, my favorite brand. They come in like the little um, short stocky ones. Like this one is Evening Fireside. That's definitely one of my favorite scents. Um, I don't know what that smells like. And then I'm actually in looking for one for my great aunt that is Olive Harvest, I think. I don't know, we can't find one. That's her favorite, she needs a new one. I'm looking for you one. If I find it, if you're watching this, I will get it to you. And we come to my favorite section of the store. Yeah, clearance. What goodies can we find in here? Yeah, so here's the um, the actual display of these candles. They come in like these taller ones, which I really like this one. I really like this one. Let's see, I really like this one. Of course, I told you that one. That one smells nice. I haven't burned it in the home though. The kitchen spice is nice. It's a little more like fallish scent. The spring rain is good. The lilac blossom I like. Um, let's see, this one is one of my favorites. I'm not much on these. Like, mm, I don't know. And then if you like, those sort of scents and the soothing eucalyptus is wonderful and their Christmassy ones on point so when they are on sale like they are now I typically try to find the ones that I like and stock up but I've got a good amount but I'm not seeing that olive whatever it's called one for her maybe there's some in this thing right here we'll go see I need some more brown sugar and I learned that the Kroger brand, a Kroger Dark, is way, way better than the Domino that I had bought at um, Walmart because it was cheaper. So I'm gonna go back to my tried and true. Also, in the clearance, I did find this Nesquik. Um, for that price, it was $5.99. So. And it says expire June of 24. So my kids will definitely get rid of it before then. Part of the weekly digital deal are these cases of water. So I'm going to grab one. All right, these may not be new, but this is the first time I've seen them. And because they are on sale, I think I will get them. These are, oh, these are different. Strawberry banana swirl. Popsicles and I saw cherry mango and this one is pineapple cherry. So we'll get these. It is super hot out and the kids and Jason like popsicles. So we'll try those. All right, we're gonna do breakfast for supper a couple of nights. Even though Jason really doesn't like it, it's just gonna be an easy thing to do. Um, sometimes you just need easy things, especially in the summer. So I'm gonna grab some canned biscuits. And then also another part of the weekly digital deal are the butter quarters. So while they're below $3 a piece, I'm gonna grab them because the two pack is over $6 a piece. So it's cheaper to buy it this way and you can get up to five. So I'm gonna grab three salted and two unsalted. Another weekly digital deal are these small eight ounce cheese blocks. So let's see, that's sharp. I don't want sharp, I want mild cheddar. I'm just gonna grab one of those. Let's get two Colby Jack because you can get up to five. 
and then a mozzarella and let's get a monterey jack i think i might make some homemade macaroni and cheese and that calls for monterey jack also grabbed a dip because it was on sale 50 cents off and we're gonna have we're gonna grill out so the chips and dip not much on this rack nothing i can't live without Okay, also on my list is this weekly digital weekly digital deal. And remember, on those weekly digital deals, you can use them up to five times. So here are the Oscar Mayer B. Franks. Um, but there's more over there that I think I might go get. So I'm going to grab some of those for our cookout and to just stick in the freezer. And then there are these um, Kroger Italian sausages. For $2.99. Now we've never tried them before, but they're normally uh, $5.49. So we're just going to get one to try and he can smoke them. I mean, grill them on the grill. And we'll try those. And then let's go get, because there's other ones in here. I think I'm going to get. Grab two of these. Okay. Okay, the last thing I'm getting here at Kroger are some of these chicken leg quarters from Heritage Farm. They had them on several, I guess about a month or so ago, several weeks back for 69 cents a pound, and they didn't have any. So I got the rain check for it for 69 cents a pound, and now they have them back but they are on sale for $1.49, but they're regularly $1.89 a pound. So I'm gonna pay 69 cents a pound. So, and I, I told them two, so I can get two. So we're gonna grab some of those. We're gonna have two of these 10 pound bags of these. Okay, so here is my Kroger haul. Remember I got the two canned biscuits, the two loaves of bread, I got all of the, those five blocks of cheese as part of the weekly digital deal. Another weekly digital deal was the case of water. I found that nest quick on the clearance. We got hamburger buns and hot dog buns for when we grill out for the fourth. Um, and then we got the hot dogs as well. And then we're going to use the meat from that we get from Fayette Packing for the burgers. The dip was on sale. The Duke's mayonnaise was also a weekly digital deal. The Fruit Loops was part of the promotion where you buy five items and you get a dollar off. And then I also have an Ibotta for 50 cents back and 50 cents back. So I'm going to get a dollar back on those two. These were not on sale, but I needed them. I was low. The aluminum cups I have been wanting to try, but you saw how much they cost. And I think I will try them based on the deal that they had them on. And it's 24 cups for that amount of money and they're aluminum. So this hot summer should be a pretty good test on how well those work. I will keep you updated. The Febreze was also part of that same promotion that these were on and these were on and I needed some of that. The butter was also a weekly digital deal, stocked up on that. And then the sweet Italian, the Kroger brand Italian sausage was the same as also with the hot dogs, also a weekly digital deal. So I grabbed those for our cookout. So I think of this whole haul, the only thing that was not on sale that I paid full price for were those two loaves of bread, the hamburger buns. I'm actually going to get some money back on Ibotta for those. So I didn't technically pay full price for that. So the two loaves of bread, the hot dog buns, and the brown sugar. Everything else I got either on clearance or part of a promotion or a weekly digital deal. So not too bad for that. So that's Kroger. Also from Kroger, I forgot to tell you or show you, you saw it on the shopping. Nine popsicles in each of these, the strawberry banana swirl and the pineapple cherry swirl. We've never tried these. We're gonna try them. They were on sale too for $4. So I also got that at Kroger as well. All right, here's my Sam's haul. I got the on the border chips. We got four gallons of milk, half and half because it ended up being cheaper at Sam's this time versus the other two stores. 
Fuji apples, gold potatoes, 10 pound bag, more salsa because we are about down to here on the last one. Um, oregano, I am low on. We grabbed pepperoni because we really like that. Omeprazole, not because we're low, but because it was on sale. I needed more flour. I wasn't low, but I was gonna go in and stock up. The green beans that I had like five cans left. Diced tomatoes, I think I had like three cans left. I got Bailey um, Everything You Need math book for middle school. She struggles with math. They had a biology and a computer science that I saw also, but I grabbed math um, just as kind of a help, a reference, because math is not my strong suit, but it's laid out really, really cool. It's like a little notebook. Um, so hopefully it'll help her through this last year of middle school we're about to start. And then, you know, she might could even reference it um, through ninth grade as well, but Colson can come along behind her and use that also. And then I grabbed garlic because we're almost out. This one is the one that I usually buy at Kroger and it's 32 ounces and it is $5.99 at Kroger. And you see the difference in size. And this one is 48 ounces and it's just under $5 at Sam's. So I'm switching from this to this now that I've almost used all of this up. So that is my Sam's haul. And this is my Walmart haul. I got a gallon of vegetable oil, the two Mott's fruit snacks, which we saw were on, they said were on clearance for a dollar. They did ring up for a dollar. So I'm just gonna stash those away and that'll be just one of those if we pack a lunch and go into town, they can grab a pack of those to throw in their lunch if they want to. Um, tea bags, sweetener, and I got a new tripod because the one that I was using broke. So we're gonna try this one and see how well it works. And so that was all I got. I did forget to get a couple of things. I need eggs and some spinach and possibly some cottage cheese, so, but I'm pretty well stocked on basics like oil, sugar, flour, those sorts of things, shelf stables, condiments, things like that. So, um, we're pretty good this time on groceries. There's only just a couple more things that I might need and then we should be good. So this, this grocery trip was very small. It wasn't a whole lot needed. So I hope you enjoyed shopping with me this time and we will see you in the next video. Bye.